Hello, my name is Jordan Glenn, and today I'm going to be discussing the TED Talk that Jeffrey Canada did on education and what should be happening in our field of education. So I'm going to be addressing two questions. The first question I'm going to be addressing is, what is Jeffrey Canada claiming should happen for the world of education? And he claims a multitude of things throughout his very educational clip. So the first thing he claims is that the one size fits all model, you know, like if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't should not be a thing. And that should be done away with immediately. Because when you think about it, there is not one human being who is one and of the same of another human being. We are all different in every which way from our aspects to our traits, to um, the way we love each other, to the kind of puppies we like. <laughs> the list goes on. He claims that they should do away with the one size fits all mindset when it comes to education, um, simply because of the reasons I just listed. He claims that our schools are refusing to use science and that they should use it. He also claims that the end of the year test data should be looked at immediately rather than having them wait until the next year to see their test data and then not even going over the data. Why are we doing that? So he says billions of dollars are being wasted for data that is not even being used. So these children take their standardized testing, their STARS, at the middle of the year, and then they go through the school year, and then they have a full summer, and they have to wait until after summer, the, the following year, to see their results. And not only do they have to wait to see their results, they have to then not even be given the opportunity to view the results, view what they missed, view um, what struggle areas of concerns there were for that child. They're just given their grade and that's the end of it. He claims things we can do as educators is to start with kids early. We need to make sure support is being provided to young people. We also need to be giving them opportunities. He claims that the education schooling system should be funded like the armed forces are. That's an example he gave in his video. He then goes on to talk about how when the safety of America is threatened, we will go to no extent, like there is no extent we won't go to in order to help our nation's safety, right? There is no dollar sign amount. There is no um, price tag we'll just throw whatever out there and hope that our safety is okay. Whereas we don't give our education and schooling systems that same opportunity when those children are our future generation. Okay, they're our future armed forces. They need the funding to excel in education. He then claims the safety, the real safety of our nation is preparing the next generation of our children so that they can take our place and be the leaders of the world. So like I just said, they're the next people who are going to step up and defend our country. So they need to be given the same opportunity of education as um, other people give funding to matters that don't involve education. He claims that educators should lightheartedly essentially harass you in a way, right? So like a good parent would, um, he claims that they should be like, what'd you make on your test? Um, what do you mean you're tired to go to school today? I want to see your grades, things like that. He claims that if kids know that if you refuse to let them fail, it puts a different pressure on them and they don't give up as easy. So children look up to this, us, so this makes sense. They follow us so when we're on top of them, when we're pushing them, when we show that we care, they're more likely to succeed. Whereas a withdrawal parent is, their child's likely not going to succeed. He claims that offering encouragement to them is essential as well as outside services such as tutoring. So not only do we need to be supportive and on top of our child's um, involvement in school we also need to 
be able to offer them services such as tutoring if they're failing in an area to help them better excel in that area with the help being offered. Now I'm going to address the second question we're going to be going over, which is how will this course assist teachers to either help or hurt school society's success? And I said that this course will help teachers to further prepare school success due to the curriculum that is provided to the teachers, which equips them with a deep understanding of child development. The knowledge future teachers gain through enrolling in this course enables them to tailor their activities and teaching methods to meet the exact needs of each and every child in their classroom. With them being able to recognize the unique stages of the child's development, they are able to create appropriate learning environments, which will ultimately aid in the child's social, cognitive, and emotional growth. Thank you.